May 21, 2011, it's a judgment day coming up. We're left over only 28 days. What is judgment day? Judgment day, it's a God bring judgment to those who are not saved. What does that mean to be saved? What does a person have to do to be saved? We can do nothing to be saved. That's a big problem what churches teach right now. They teach you have to accept Lord Jesus Christ, you have to baptize, you have to confess, but it's nothing to be saved us. What can save us? Only God. Let's just go back right to the beginning. Let's talk about God. Yes. What is God? We never understand God who is God is. We just know He is revealed us like a God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we know God is the one. But that's a mystery. Never try to never understand the God. Our mind. But there, never there must understand. be some things we know about God. Only what, what, we do, what do we know about God? Only we know. God is beside our mind. We not understand Him never. Only we know. He saved us through His mercy. His mercy, His Father, His Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, but the thing that you haven't said, you haven't said God is the creator of the universe. Yes. He is the creator of the universe. It is. Why didn't you say that? It is creator. But, but yeah, but I asked you, why didn't you say God is the creator of the universe? I know, you, I thought you know about this. Everybody okay. knows. Everyone knows that. Everybody knows. All right. In Judgment Day, we read in uh, Jeremiah 7, um, in Jeremiah 8, and then Jeremiah 22, Jeremiah 25. Nobody can bury people. They will be like a dung, like a manure on the earth. That's a big problem. Well, how do you know this is true? It's the Bible says. I know well, how, do you, how do you know the Bible is true? Well, problem is, again, you very good question. All right, let's get back to God then. God created the universe. Yes. What does that mean, to create? To create His own and bring to existence. H have you ever created anything? No. Never? I can create it. Mm. From nothing to something? No. Only God, from mm. nothing, He spoke, and this world bring to existence this earth. He spoke. He spoke. He has a mouth. Exactly. God has a physical mouth? Well, we, I don't know. Now we will well, speculate. How, so how do you know He spoke? He says His word. That's a metaphor, isn't it? No. You see what we read in uh, Genesis? God says, let be the light. Hang, no, hang on. God speaks. Yeah. Now, do we mean actually speaks like human beings speak? Well, this is a good question. I tell you what, um, I know what Bible says. I don't know how it's happened, but I know it's true. That's, that's my, that's a, my well, faith. Uh, hang on. If you read in the Bible, that's, that's words. I mean, that's not reality. The Bible is just words. No, yeah? it's a reality. Remember? Well, it's similar. To, it's not reality. It's words. It's a description. Well, we, we read in the Bible, like uh, God spoke with to Moses. Right? And Moses wrote... God, so do, God does have a mouth? Yes, probably like that. But or, he, or he's a speaker, a loud speaker. He speaks a voice, definitely. No yeah. question about it. He speaks a voice. Okay. He'll listen so if to he, voice. If he speaks, then he's able to create some um, vibrations in the air. God, God is affecting uh, uh, the universe. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's responsible about yeah. everything what happens. Where is he then? Well, we don't know where is he. He's a, in, in, he's a spirit, so we can well, touch he, him. But he's more than a spirit because he's, he's, he's got a, a mouth or a loudspeaker and is able to make the air vibrate. You see, but now we just, uh, again, try to understand God. That's exactly what we can, our mind can understand. That's what we're now well, trying some, to. But there are some things that we can understand. It you're you're, you're be, trying to explain to me uh, uh, things about well, God. Well, these you, things I can't explain you, to be honest. Because there's some I things you know. can't explain. But I can I don't know who this is God is. Listen, I want to get back to this, this business of God speaking to people. Okay, now, that, see, that's something that's testable, scientifically testable. If God is speaking to people, he's creating vibrations in the air that causes the uh, eardrum to vibrate and sends a message to the brain. Okay, God That's now, an interaction between the spiritual world and the real world. Well, sir, today, God not speak all through the voice. Uh, listen, thanks very much for your leaflet. I'm going to give you a leaflet. Okay. Right? I can, I can convert you to atheism if you do my course. <laughs> it's a 10-week course. Okay. Okay. Sir, I will, I'll prove to you that God doesn't exist. I'll prove to, the, to you that your faith is false. And I'll convert you to atheism. Do, do you fancy joining me? You can't do this because I believe my Lord. The only God who created human You do my course and you can try and convert me to I, your religion. And I'll try and convert you to mine. I never will try to convert you to my religion. Because oh, okay. religion will never, never get you to 
close to God. I, I can convert you to atheism. You can convert because I don't want to speak to subject. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, but it will do at the end. You do my 10 week course. At the end, you will come out and you will be an atheist. Sure. We have 20 year, 28 days left over for us. And I can have we a fit task. it in 28 days? 28 days left over for us. And I have a task, a huge task, to proclaim this Tell gospel. You what. Tell you what. After May 21st, yeah. okay, if we're still here, you send me an email and then you can come on my course and I will convert you to atheism. Sir, only what I say to you, you have no chance and you have no May 22nd. You come on my course, you have no chance except to become an atheist. No, sir, you have no chance. I'm challenging. Come on, after, after May 21st, what's the problem? After May, May 27th, May 21st, it will be first judgment day. You, you'll be busy. You okay. see, no, after. I'm not will be busy. I not will be here. Uh -huh. I I believe, but God will erupt me from here, just cut me off to the heaven. The rest of the people who is not was saved, it was horror, horror time in this earth. But if, if, you, if you're still here... I not will be here, sir. Wait, wait, back in the Ukraine. I not will be, I'm living in America right now. I not uh -huh. live in Ukraine. I came okay. from Ukraine. Okay. But I tell you, this really, really serious business. It's not time to be proud or not time to be um, rejected, just like that. It's yeah. a time to be pray and ask God for mercy. That's only, I, look, only what I'm we can do. I'm very serious about truth. Very I'm serious. Serious. That's why I'm making this documentary. That's okay? good. Now I take your uh, your views very seriously. Okay? You might be right. You might be right about the, the end of the world. You might be right about Jesus Christ and the Bible. You might be right about all of those things. I'm interested in, in truth. Okay? And that's why I want to speak to people like you, because I think I can show you the truth. I think I can show you that there, there is no God and that your faith doesn't work. Sir, what I can do, only pray about you. And pray about those people who not believe.